on the 1st of October 2010, bombs and other explosive devices went off at three different locations, including the Eagle Square in Nigeria's Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, claiming about 12 lives. While former President Goodluck Jonathan visited the injured at the hospital, the authorities went after the alleged masterminds, including Edmond Biware, a youth leader and peace advocate in the Niger Delta. He was found guilty of being an accessory to treason and sentenced to life imprisonment by Justice Gabriel Kolawole of the Federal High Court, Abuja, on January 25, 2013. Four years later, Justice Gabriel Kolawole dismissed the charge of treasonable felony against Charles Oka, then a member of the movement for the emancipation of the Niger Delta, leading to a peaceful protest in Yenagoa, Bayelsu State. They argued that if the judge could throw out a treason charge against the alleged mastermind Charles Oka, then the alleged accessory Edmond de Biware should be acquitted. This landmark judgment that there was never a treason and it has been dropped, it therefore means that the alleged offense of accessory to treason against our, bro our brother Ebimare is misplaced, yes. is unfounded, yes. and should be declared null and void, yes. and our brother Ebimare be released immediately. Yes. Their prayers were answered five years later when Edmond de Biware was included in the list of 159 persons who got clemency from the National Council of State on April 22, 2022. The young man from Akubene in Delta and Okoloba Sabagria in Bayosu State was not to breathe the air of freedom until the 2nd of February 2024 when he reunited with his wife and two children outside the Kaduna Correctional Center on a slightly hazy Friday morning. Yeah, this is my greatest day in life. I'm back to we'll give God the glory. Thank every one of you, especially my Joy Nation, who stood by me. The Joy Youth Council, the Joy National Congress. I just want to live at peace with everybody in my family, that's all. I don't even know what God has for me, just to serve God and humanity. So. I'm overwhelmed. I'm excited. I don't even know how to describe this feeling. There's this butterfly in my stomach. And I want to thank our Ijo nation. I am proud to be married in Ijo nation. I'm proud to be part of them. You know, people say some funny things, but I came, I saw, and I conquered. It has been a roller coaster. 14 years is not a joke. Bro. I just want to say thank you to everybody that has supported us from the beginning to now. May God bless everybody abundantly. Amen. I can possibly say my daddy is out. You know, any daddy meetings, I can come. You know, he can come with us now. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> The Ijo Youth Council was present in Kaduna to receive him outside the correctional facility. Sometimes God takes us through the wilderness to prepare us for the destiny that lies ahead. I do believe that these 14 years of his life that was taken away from him, perhaps God preserved him. We are in a world where nobody cares about anybody anymore. So for those who pay that price of believing that he was innocent from the beginning and therefore the innocence shouldn't die unjustly and I'm happy because this is happening under my time and it's quite historic. I'm going back to my John Nation. Yes. Belong. Ah, yeah. The joy of freedom is incomplete he says because of the absence of someone very near and dare to his heart. I wish my mom is alive to see this day she died. It's okay. I feel it. Mommy, anywhere you are, I'm a free man today. I know you are resting in peace. 
Yeah. His mother passed away on July 24th, 2017, but the young man believes he has so much to live for despite spending 14 years of his life in jail. Ofietime George, Arise News.